Okay, today we'll remove your FID jet and clean it. You can start with taking your 5 16th wrench and loosening your FID signal cable. Side. Disconnect your igniter cable. Take your 964 socket wrench and loosen the three FID block screws. You can take your ground wire loose and just let it hang. Remove your FID collector, the whole assembly. Set it to the side. Now you can see where your jet is. Take your multi-bit screwdriver, now there's two ends with two different sizes, you'll take the smaller of the two and then pull this attachment out. Take your tweezers and you should be able to grab the head of the jet and just pull it out. Now you will take your 0 0.02 cleaning wire. You can start on either end. Probably be easier to start from this end. Put the wire into the end of the jet and run it through. If it's blocked, you may have to work it and eventually it'll come through. And it'll come out. It wouldn't hurt to go from the other end. That's all there really is to it. If you have compressed air, it'd be good to clean this out with some compressed air. A good way to check if your jet is clean is to take the little flashlight from your toolkit and cup your hand and close it around the head of the jet until there's no light escaping and then you should be able to look through the jet and see a perfectly round circle of light coming through. So you can see it's completely clear of any blockage. Now to reassemble, you can drop the jet back into the hole. Now you want to be careful when you go to, to retighten this, to set the screwdriver over the head, make sure it's fully sitting down and then you want to slowly begin to tighten so you don't run the risk of cross-threading the threads of the jet. And you shouldn't feel any resistance in the beginning. If so, you need to back it off a few turns and then restart it. down too hard but you do want to get it snug a little over finger tight there it is a good time to clean the inside of the weldment where the jet sits we can take the 
ID assembly. It just sits back on top. Retighten these two front screws. Take your ground wire, put it underneath the lock washer, and then tighten the back screw. signal cable back in make sure the little pin doesn't get bent you reinsert it take your 516 wrench and just give it a little bit of a tighten 